Hi friends, it's Susan Smith with Steam Creatively. I got together with some friends yesterday and we are getting together once a month and using these templates to create different projects. There are five of us, so you get a wide variety of interpretations of these. You, I have a video of the last one. This is the one we used this time. I chose to use this stamp set and Stampin' Up! is trying something new. You either get to pick a punch or die with the bundle. I have this one with the punch, so that's the one I want to show you along with my template. So we blew up the templates so we knew what we were kind of supposed to follow. We're not super good rule followers, but um, I chose this. This is what I did with my bundle. So I cut the papers um, kind of sort of the right size. Like this one is the four and a quarter um, by five and a quarter and three and a half by two and a half. This one I did a little bit different because we were using some scraps. So there was two different ways to kind of do it. I wanted to use the um, Full of Life DSP because it has so many colors that it goes with. So I gave them choices of these. Like which color do you want? Because here's the cardstock that it then matches with. So you've got a great big variety of things that match. So they had these that they could choose from and then they had these that they could choose from. Okay, so I have two. I have one in yellow and one in purple. Let's do one in Granny Apple. Oh, I'll show you the interpretation, their interpretations of this. Okay, so that one's mine. This one they turned sideways. This one was two cutout images with a ribbon. This one was these two with a plane in the middle. And this one was two different cuts with a bow and a moon and a boat. Again, we interpreted that. We do, I mean, it's loosely interpreted, but it's just good to get together and get different ideas. So here's my granny apple. I'm going to take my piece of Whisper White that just goes a little bit bigger than the Designer Series paper. I'm going to use this one that has a little more green on it. And this is what I cut. So my card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut the two and a half by um, one and a, or three and a half by one and a half and then just I wanted the white behind it so it's just a smidge bigger if you're one of those people and I'm sorry if you are that really needs the exact measurement message me and I will get it for you then I took my Versamark steamed my images on whisper white and then cut them out or um, embossed it in the silver so that all it had to do was be punched out. Come on. Oh, fiddlesticks. There it goes. It's just the curve because the paper was embossed. So I'm going to make sure that's right in the center. Punch it out. And then this is the silver and white edged ribbon. Love it. And it's perfect to do this with. I'm going to stick a couple of dimensionals. In the back of these words and I've got them positioned so they're pretty much going on both sides of where the ribbon was. 
and then all I need to do is add my rhinestones. Sometimes we get all caught up in all the other embellishments and forget how good a rhinestone is. And how many of these little ones we get. So I got a dot for my birthday. Okay, friends. So that these two papers are the exact same papers, and they it looks so different depending on which um, background or which card base you picked. And then here's this one where we took some strips just to begin to mix it up. How cute is that? And then our different interpretations of the same thing. So next month we'll do it again with some more um, three projects or um, five different projects, same um, layout. All right. Thanks for joining me. I loved this. Um, stamp set it fits I love the labels and I just like those images in fact I used this for my um, when they come to my open house I like to do something real simple so we did in colors with note cards and envelopes and they just punched that out and then adhesived it um, to the card in colors cute punch all right friends thanks for joining me have a good day